Dr. Shalom Han Panit, um, the president of the ASEAN the Private Hospital Associations, Dr. Phung Pat Patana Panit, uh, Patan, Pat, uh, Patan Panit, president of the Private Hospital Association of Thailand, uh, Elizabeth Stortinger, president of science, uh, uh, president of Siemens Health, Health in the uh, Asia Pacific, Mr. Richard Allen. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is my great honor and pleasure to be here uh, today at the uh, Hospital Management Asia 2018. On behalf of the Thai government, I would like to welcome you all to Thailand and I would like to congratulate the Thai Private Hospital Associations for co host the event, this very important event in Thailand. Today, I would like to share with you, just bear with me a few minutes because I, my <laughs> uh, colleague just asked me to uh, give a little talk about the, uh, the government policies on the healthcare business in Thailand. You know, come out from university, it won't be little, but <laughs> I'm trying to give myself just uh, about 20 minutes um, at max. Uh, now, you know, in, in Thailand, I would like to, to just share with you about the information about so the target industry in Thailand, which is uh, the, the healthcare business is one of them. Let me brief you about the uh, Thailand reforms, as you know, about the Thailand 4.0 of our Prime Minister Prayut uh, Ganosha, and how we build a solid foundation of Thailand's sustainable growth going forward through the Industry 4.0 transformation, we see we translate it from uh, Thailand 4.0. Our goal is to capitalize uh, Thailand's traditional competitive strengths and advantage to utilize the promote, uh, and promote the diffusion of the appropriate technologies to create a high a competitive growth engines and their environment. At the core of the Industry 4.0, is the development of the priority industry and cluster that include five existing key industries and five new ones. Uh, we call the five uh, existing S-curve and the other one is a five new S-curve. All of them has been selected carefully under the two principles. One is on our comparative advantage. What is a comparative advantage in Thailand consider is one is about our diversity, a biodiversity that we have, including the cultures. And the second one is about uh, we try to select the new target industry based on what we have today. This is usually is about the existing industry. As you may know, it's about, uh, for example, uh, automotive sectors, electronics, and as well as the food and agricultural product. And, and the last one is about what we will see in the future. I have a potential uh, growth in the future, such as robotics, automation, and the other one is a digital. And how about the healthcare business? It lies in one of uh, our target industry because we do believe that our competitive advantage not only about uh, the services, my hospitalities that the Thailand can offer to those who can come to Thailand and everyone, even the, my colleagues uh, who want to speak before me, mentions about the medical or healthcare tourism. Uh, Every year, we have a tourist come to Thailand more than 30, I think we expect more than 30 million tourists coming to Thailand. And about 8 to 10 of them, 8 to 10 percent of them are for the healthcare and tourism purpose. And as you might expect that the medical and healthcare industry is one of the key targets. I will follow my uh, PowerPoint here. You know, standing in front of the doctors and, and the healthcare personnel, I don't need to mention about other, how important of the healthcare industry to, to the public. But as a policy maker, the last one is a crucial for us. How we make sure that 
the country or everyone in, 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 in the country or in society can get into the uh, uh, can access into the healthcare services. We have in Thailand the, the healthcare facility in Thailand, not just really Bangkok private sector, we have about 300 something uh, uh, public sectors, including the small one uh, spreading around the country, is more than three or four thousand facilities that we have. But of course, the quality is quite different. This is the, the, the I don't want to say the cost, but the expenses that we try to extract from the shares of the healthcare expenses at the percentage of the GDP is increasing every year. It reflects two things. It's about the conscience of the people, about their health. And the second one is about the income growth. Of course, when you are become richer, you have likely to concern more about your health and the quality of health care as well. One challenge that uh, many people may know, I mean, you may know, and many, is, uh, I, I do believe that the speaker in these forums will keep uh, uh, mentions about the aging society. The structures of the uh, demographic structures of the population in Thailand will look like, as, as you see in the, 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 the slide, and we become the aging society completely. Um, by definition of the United States about, or UN, I mean, since a few years ago. But in the next 30 years ahead, and the shape of demographic structure is to be completely different from here. The people tend to live longer, and I do believe that healthier as well, uh, due to the, the, uh, the technologies and the new innovations of the old technologies that can keep the people healthy. But on the other side of the coins, when you are the government, you are thinking about the budget. The shares of the budget has become a big burden some way, somehow. But of course, but it's the obligation of the government have to provide that kind of uh, 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 services and to the uh, to its people. In some countries, like uh, Japan, as you know, they are running into the difficulties of the funds and the budget for keeping the people on the health insurance as well as the pension as well. Some countries try to think uh, to cope this difficulty or the problem or the challenge, uh, challenges by extent. Their working uh, periods, you know. In Thailand as well, we are considered to you know, make uh, uh, about the, the retires from 60 to 63 for the service uh, services. But there is no strike like in France. Eh? But it seems everyone keep quiet. And I don't know when it will start, but the government has approved and this purpose already. Why to extend the retiring age from 60 to 63. The health care service, you know, and then, of course, for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, for the, the need or the demands of the, uh, the senior citizens is very increased. Many news, uh, but on on the other hand, as a private sector, for you know everyone in this room, and I have learned from my colleague that most of you are the owners of the private hospital, which is one of the alternative uh, choices for uh, the people who access into the good and the high qualities of the healthcare services. It is a big opportunities, and these opportunities are expanding not just for the domestic demand, but as well as for the international and, uh, and, the, and the worldwide demands as well. As we can, the, the mobilities of not just only the specialists, but as well as the patients they can move across the countries. And there are some agreement 
that we can meet with the other countries, the expenses of the health care from that uh, citizens who come to uh, uh, get uh, services in the other countries can get some subsidies from the government or the, the, uh, their own country's funds, for example. But it's still, of course, you know, uh, it's still some barriers, some concerns of the host and as well as the, the, the other country as well. I run to this, not to these situations so many times as the, a member of the negotiating teams with the FTA with some countries, even in the ASEAN. When I was one of the chairs of the uh, ICO, the ASEAN Industrial Corporations Working Group, we still have, you know, we opened a free uh, about seven or eight uh, professionals, but it's still some harder that you have to jump over. Um, one of them, I think, is about the license. I think all the doctor knows, and I guess, <laughs> because if you want to work in the other countries, you have to get some uh, special uh, work permit, and of course, to get some license as well. The people, um, this is what I mentioned um, before. Uh, you know, the the type of the because of the growing of the uh, of, of the demands. Increasing the business model of the hospital, private hospital, have changed rapidly in the past uh, ten years. I guess the past decade, they are many, they expand their uh, uh, branches and to the to to the, the provinces, and as well as because they need a network and to have the corrective collaborations among the expertise and specialists. So that's why they form a group of the hospital. I just talk to my big brother. <laughs> uh, he said that we have a, a two of just only a few big groups of the hospital, a private hospital in Thailand. I think this phenomenon or this situation is the same around the world. The healthcare system in Thailand is, you know, uh, we have about 2.8 million foreign uh, patients, up to 10%, and will be increased in earning generate the income about three billions and increasing every year. About 40 percent, I guess, of the privates. Or 60 percent. I'm sorry, I'm confusing about 40 and 60 for the, the, the international foreign patients in the private hospital. I think it's 60 percent, eh? if I'm not mistaken, for, for the patients in, in the hospital, a big hospital in this one. Before that, uh, most of the foreign patients in, you know, uh, in Thailand are come from Middle East, but now I think they are switched into the ASEAN, especially from uh, in, in, in neighboring countries. And when you go to the provinces along the borders of our neighboring countries, you will see a big group of hospitals that set their branches there, and, and business is doing quite well. As a government's uh, policy, I think we are not just look at the medical. Uh, if in order to, I think we we, we set the plans. Uh, we set the Thailand to be the Thailand's medical hub policies. The Thai government has progressively, uh, in uh, recently, uh, on the policies to pace the countries to attain the position of the uh, of the half of the wellness and the medical services within. 10 years, in 2000, 2025. Uh, the plan is focused on the four major uh, areas, this wellness, hubs, and medical services, and academic, and uh, production hubs. I, let, let me mention about the, the, the production hubs. A production hubs is, uh, we include all kinds of things, not just only the pharmaceuticals, but as well as the medical devices. There are many doctors as become the innovators in the medical devices, but of course, it still lies in between uh, the confidence of the doctors who are uh, practitioners and as well as for the hospital owner to use that one instead of from the big companies. Um, 
And for the, the wellness hub, I think it's because we try to build ourselves on our com comparative advantage that we have, especially for the hospitalities. We have many uh, spa services, nursing home services, including the elderly care services. The numbers of the operators increasing every year. It has been backed up by the higher incomes of the household, so that's why they can effort into, I mean, efforts to access into this kind of services. From the academic hubs, I'm trying to get the figures of the number of the medical school in Thailand. I, I might has made a mistake on this one, but I'm trying to look at uh, the information that I got from my staff. Uh, we have about 20-something medical school and colleges and institutes around the countries. Some universities, it used to be the engineering schools, the university, and now they have the medical school as well. Thomas Hart University is one of them, is very good in law and economics. Now they have a, 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 hosp a university hospital as well as a medical school. And generally, this uh, 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 medical doctors annually have uh, 2,800 uh, doctors every year, but not enough. I think in Thailand we have about 50 or 70s or 60s, I guess, 60,000 doctors implementing or practices their medical services. In order to, to, to improve or for medical services, I mentioned earlier, so we have a medical uh, facility around the countries, but the private sector, 300 something hospitals, and, and very good, very good quality on that one. It has been well accepted by the public. I mean, uh, even uh, not just only in Thailand, but as well as uh, for the international level as well. So that's why we can have uh, the foreign or the international patients coming into Thailand. Uh, quite a big number of that. In order to, to, to achieve, um, uh, this is the one that I just mentioned before. This is about the, the 10 S curve that we have, but they are all linked in together. Uh, on the other one, this I, I forgot to mention about uh, uh, production hubs. I think it's now the, the one of uh, our S curve uh, industry or the target industry is robotics. Robotics is not just an in industrial robots, but as well as the robot service robots and including the medical uh, services as well. And, and this is one part that if the Thailand has to move towards to it about the medical and, uh, and robots. And in order to, to facilitate about uh, our objective to be the hubs of uh, medical hub of Asia, no ASEAN, I think the, Thailand's, uh, the board of investment of Thailand offer a wide range of the tax and the non-tax uh, incentive to invest projects in medical and healthcare activities in Thailand. The levels of the tax incentive depends on the importance of the activities. Actually, we, uh, usually we call it the activi activity base and the benefits to the countries and overall. Uh, industry. Um, this is called the merit base. And you might get double if you can achieve into basis. And the BY also provides the additional technologies base incentive as well. We call the BY Plus for the investment in the development of the core technologies such as the biotechnologies, nanotechnology, advanced material technology, and digital technologies, and the enabling services that support the target technology developments, qualifies 
in investment, uh, investment we receive 10 years corporate income tax. Uh, past the merit based incentive for the other uh, one or two, one or three years, uh, all together, or not more than 15 years anyway. But in addition, to those, uh, the BUIs also offer the strategic uh, investment incentive. We call B BOI pass pass of the CIT, the corporate income tax exemptions up to 15 years to promote the activities in the 10 target industry, including the medical hubs. But if you uh, uh, to invest in the EEC areas. We also, if you are, uh, invest in the, the healthcare project, which is lying in the uh, promoted uh, activities of the BOI and located in the EECs, you are, uh, it will be, in, it will be in, uh, entitled to additional privilege for another 50% 50, uh, 50 CIT, uh, CIT reductions for another five years after the exemptions uh, uh, rate of the CIT has been finished 15 years or, 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 or 10 years after that. The, in, uh, the, the personal income tax rate, uh, it will be 17%. I think it will be the fat rate instead of the progressive rate. In Thailand, when uh, you know about uh, 17 uh, percent is very low, and compare with those of the doctor in Thailand who has to pay in the uh, personal income tax in the progressive rate tax. And you have a right to rent the land 50 years and another 49 years for, for extensions. And I do hope that, you know, because it's from our existing capabilities of our healthcare personnel, doctors, and the uh, business facility that we have in Thailand, including the technologies, and, and as well as the support from the government, which is a healthcare business, is lie in one of our target industry, or one in of our s curve. And we consider it as the new engine of growth for the Thailand in the future. But I, I have no doubt about the qualities of the private sector, a private hospital in Thailand. They are well accepted from the public. And the cost, I can guarantee that is affordable. When you say that affordable is quite tricky, eh? it's effort to whom? But but it's affordable in average. Um, and for myself, you know, because I, I, I can get the reimburse every expense, uh, every single uh, dime that I spend on the medical uh, care if I go to the public hospital. But sometimes I just uh, you know, go to the private hospital because I have uh, my colleagues or my friends in there, but I pay the full expense. But its quality is, 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 is quite is excellent. But in order to move beyond the boundaries, to work with the friends in ASEAN, is more challenging from the our uh, hospi Thai hospital. Because if you, you want to look at the global, as a your market, then you have to work as a team. A cor uh, corrective cor corporation is a must. Try to pull all the strength of, uh, I mean, every, I mean, from every member of the Arsins in, so, uh, in, in this industry. When you look at the Philippines, I think it's some colleagues from Philippines knows, they are very keen and very famous on the nursing school. And we have uh, a doctor from uh, in Singapore and facility in Singapore is very keen on some specialized uh, uh, activity on an areas of the health care. In Thailand, we have the excellence of facility, medical facilities, 
doctors in the general case in Thailand. And we also have a Myanmar, Laos and Cambodia, even the Vietnam, for being the uh, 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 rehabilitation, nursing and um, areas that we can cope together and look at the ASEANs, at the medical hubs. All the strength is you can pull together and, and, and I can quite ensure that, do we be, uh, that the ASEANs would be the medical hubs and the healthcare hub, not just for the Asia, but as well as a lot of the world. At the end, I, I do believe that the ASEAN will move forward significant and, and exciting opportunities, as I mentioned, for medical and healthcare collaborations among ourselves and with the ASEAN international partner. I also look forward to proposing a new strategic initiative to open up a new opportunity and that will lead to the win-win share benefit for the stakeholders and within the contract rising dynamics of the Asia's and increasing the importance of the healthy uh, populations. I certainly see the bright future of the medical and healthcare industry in ASEAN. And hopefully that you will spend your some time in, in the forums to talking about um, uh, our strategic partner in the healthcare as the ASEANs, not just for the individual countries. In closing, I would like to thank the Private Hospital Association of Thailand once again and the ASEAN Private Hospital Association for inviting me uh, for, to share some views here today. Last but not least, I wish everyone great success. And for those who are visiting Bangkok, I hope you will have a truly blissful stay in Thailand. And please, please, please uh, spare some of your free time and cruising around Bangkok. We have so much to offer you. Thank you.